Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Port Gamble General Store. How are you doing? It's a little windy out here. I hope you can hear me. Look at that water back there. Isn't that gorgeous? So I thought we would start outside for our live and I'm gonna flip one sec. Okay, so you can see down the street, there's the, the mansion. Hi, Annie. Oh my gosh, I forgot what the name of that is called. Oh, Walker Ames. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's Barkley. Hi, Sherry. Barkley. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Well, thank you, Barkley. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> um, sorry for my dog. At least he was only doing number one. That's good. Okay, so I wanted to start outside because Port Gamble is such a beautiful place to spend a family afternoon. <laughs> and so I wanted you to just remember there's other stores and restaurants that we have along here. We've got Butcher Baker, we've got our cafe, and we've got House 11 Tap Room. And there is the Steel Bridge Coffee that's here. So for eats and drinks and then shopping, we've got the Artful You, which is way at the end. We've got Gamble Bay Textiles, which is right next door to the um, mansion. Of course, our store. Hi, Tim. Um, we've got the Painted Lady over there, the Quilted Straight, which you can't see. It's over the other side. We've got the Tango Zulu Imports and of course, Wish, which is right down there. And then we also have the Olympic outdoor center which is right there so and then we also have the port gamble uh, theater we have all the w the wedding venues and we have the historic museum which is right down there's where Merritt's trying to hide but it's right down <laughs> she's hiding by the tree uh, <laughs> um, and that's where you go to the museum and that is open to Thursdays through Sundays noon to five all summer so that's really worth it it's all about the the mill and it's pretty fun and of course you can see the beautiful port gamble bay over there and then of course we have the sea and shore museum above our store so um i just wanted to remind you what a fun place this is to come and spend an afternoon and um, enjoy the beautiful weather and we're usually cooler than the rest because we get the beautiful breeze off the water as you can see from the flag we're getting a nice breeze okay so i thought i would start with miss lovely our bike you saw her last time but since we're going to talk about the plant lady table i thought you would enjoy seeing her garden basket out here hi oma and so she is a great place to take selfies people love to come out here and take a look and take a picture and i wanted to talk a little bit about our new hours for the summer so we're now open 10 to 5 every day we're always open every day but we're open 10 to 5 every day 10 to 6 friday saturday and sunday and of course our website is open 24 7 so that's definitely um, something that you should take a look at we have our cafe menu as you know we have a full cafe in the back where we serve sandwiches espresso 16 flavors of ice cream all kinds of pies baked goodies uh, carrot cake, ding-dongs. It's pretty fun back there. Hi, Rhonda. And then some fun, exciting news. Um, since Scratch Kitchen is no longer here, they're going to allow our customers, our, our cafe customers, to sit out here Friday through Sundays during the summer. So, I mean, that's one of the best places to sit and have a view and have a lovely lunch. So just so you know that, you can come Friday through Sunday and sit out here and enjoy your meal. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and one other thing, we're going to have a sidewalk sale. See where that place is? That'll be full of fun goodies. So we're going to have a sidewalk sale Friday through Monday, so Memorial Day. So that'll be coming up this weekend. We'll be 50 to 75 off. You know, when we mark stuff down, I'm not kidding. I get that red pen out, and I go straight to 50. So come help us make room. <laughs> Thanks for the heart. Come, come help us make room. We got a lot of stuff coming as we ramp up for the summer. So I think that's all I had here, Maren. I'm going to hand you that. And... And can you take that too? So, all right, so let's go inside where it's not as bright and I'm not squinting. Okay, hi Robin. Hi. Okay, so the first thing we wanna talk about is weddings. So we're gonna go over to the wedding area. Oh, my pillows got messed up. All right, so we have over 100 weddings. Let's see, where's that sheet? The white one, yeah, this one, sorry. Um, we have, Port Campbell has over 100 weddings this summer, so I thought that that would be something that you guys would like to see. We carry a lot of fun wedding stuff. And John and I were actually married in the church down the street here 22 years ago, if you can believe it. 
And so um, let's start with the pillows. Lots of Mr. and Mrs. This is fun because it says established 2023. That's a great keepsake. We have Love Shack, the XOXO, PS I Love You. And I love this animal. You can't quite see it. It's an animal bolster. I just love that. And then this one, which is like a macrame. And isn't that pretty all together with the XOXO? So that's a fun wedding pillows and, and celebrating what's happening. We have Mr. and Mrs. Frames, small and large. That's a beautiful one. That was really popular last year. And that says, of all the walks we've taken, this was my favorite. I love that one. And of course, more Mr. and Mrs. either dated for 2023 or not. And we have all kinds of things that you could either use for a wedding present, an engagement present, or even if you were looking for something for your significant other to um, celebrate your anniversary or um, birthdays, etc. So we've got stuff every groom should know, stuff every bride should know, and then lots of fun things. I love this candle. 90% of being married is what is shouting what from other rooms. I love that. Um, you can't say I didn't warn you. That would go in your wedding vows. I love that you're my husband. And then we have the Mr. and Mrs. That's magnetic, so you can just slip a picture under there and trade it out as you want. And the Sharon Nolan, these are beautiful. So that's from this moment. And then that's also from this moment where you could put your own picture in it. And that's a beautifully matted picture frame. Mr. Right and Mrs. Always Right. That's a very popular item. And then we, I love that you're my wife. Let's see, what else do I want to show? Countdown to Mr. and Mrs. And then it has, you can switch it out and it talks about, um, no, I guess you can't. I lied. Just countdown to the wedding. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Plates. Let me see, did I get everything here? Is there anything else you want me to show? Oh, this, I love this picture. Can you see that? It says Mr. and Mrs. on there. It was always you. Person just bought that for their son and daughter-in-law and they had dated since they were like in seventh grade and they were finally getting married and I thought that was so sweet. Hi, Shirley. Okay, so um, there's a, a beautiful matted with glass, established 2023 some cute plates and really fun towels. So you can pretty much come in here and either buy something small for an engagement, either a small little heart or a Mr. and Mrs. ring plate, or you can buy something that's a, that is definitely almost something that they would want as an heirloom. Uh, then we also have some fun earrings, bride and just married. And if I had my life to live over again, I'd find you sooner so that I could love you longer. I love that one. That's so pretty. All right, so let's talk a little bit about treasure gift boxes because you've heard us talk about that on different um, venues, but I'm not sure everybody knows what they are. So if you're feeling stumped about find, oh, I know, Let, where are the notes? Can I just grab that for a sec? Yeah. I have to grab my notes so that I say the right thing. Bear with me, you guys. Okay, so treasure gift boxes. Somebody gave me a heart for that, thank you. Um, we were voted best of the best gift shop by both Kitsap Sun and North Kitsap Herald. Actually, you guys voted for us for that, so we really appreciate it. And we curate the store by theme, and our customers love that. It's a great gift giving process to do that. So we thought, how do we translate the experience in the store to our website? And we came up with these treasure gift boxes that are human curated by us on our website. So Maren's holding, there's Maren. Hi Maren. Mm -hmm. um, so the treasure gift box, I'm gonna aim it that way because it's kind of having a little bit of a glare. Okay, so there's a picture of our treasure gift boxes. And so if you're feeling stumped about finding the perfect gift, no worries. We've got you covered with our treasure gift boxes. Think of us as your own personal general store available right at your fingertips 24 7. Our gift boxes are carefully curated with a touch of our unique fun style and packed with love. See how we pack it? And we'll put a note in there and some candy and some fun things. Skilled Trades says, you go girl. Thank you, Skilled Trades. Secret, that's my husband. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, I think then um, let's talk. Yeah, let's do the wedding one. So for example, we just did the wedding. Here's the wedding treasure gift box. So you can see that the the magnet frame. I forgot to show these, but these are the Mr. and Mrs. goblets, or actually champagne glasses, and then the napkins we showed you, and the Mr. and Mrs. plate. So you could pack that up as we showed how they're packed, like that. We would send it off, and you can put a special note in there if you'd like. But I just wanted you guys to hear a little bit about what the treasure gift boxes is, because people have asked us a lot of questions about that. So that's our married and wedding area. I'm going to turn around and do the plant lady table, which is our garden table. You want to try be our model for the apron, Marin? She loves to be the model. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So this is a pretty fun apron. It's it's canvas. Has, Heavy. Yeah, it's nice and sturdy. sturdy. Look at all the look at all the slots. Uh oh. Oh, I have it tied. Just pull it up against you. You don't have to open it. Yeah. Look how cute that is with the pockets and the, all the places. I love it that you there's places for all your tools. So lovely. Very good. And so we have that. So you, you can get in the mood for gardening. And then we have, I'm just going to kind of scan through the bottom and run up. Let's start with the garden hair don't care. This has been really popular. Everybody loves that hat. We have this mug. If I can get it, it's called the Ridiculously Rude Plants Mug, the Naughty Side of Nature. And it says family jewels, milkweed, sage bark, hickory, I don't know, shag bark. <laughs> I was like, what's so dirty about that? Um, well, I won't read all of them because virgin thistle. So it's a really fun, cute mug. That's been real popular. And then we have a plant addict mug. I must have that plant, which is really cute. I'm, I have too many plants. The thought cycle of a plant addict, really fun. These are the coolest things. They're leaf cleaning tongs. So you could actually, if you have a big plant in your house, you just kind of close that up and it dusts, very softly dusts them off. Nothing's worse than a dusty plant. I mean, it's hard. Ingenious. It's ingenious, yeah, I yeah. agree. Talk dirt to me. And then we have a lot of little fun garden gnomes for all sizes. And these are really, I think, spectacular. Look at these plant markers. Let me do it so you can see it. Look at that. So that you put in your garden. How gorgeous is that? So we have beet and carrot and tomato and, and peas and radish. Aren't those gorgeous? And each one of them has a beautiful metal plant on the top. I just love those. These garden shears, big hit last year. They're perfect size. They're super sharp. And everybody loves them, and a lot of people have come back to get another pair for a friend. Uh, let's see what else. We just got a reorder of our cute uh, Port Gamble Hello, Well Hello soap. This one is Lemon Mint, and that's Miss Lovely on the cover. And we have several different of our own Port Gamble soaps that people just love. Cute little towel with the gnome sitting on the mushroom. Happy place. And then we, because we did so well with the garden shears, we have this garden shear set. So you could actually have a set of three. And these have been really good. We've been selling these reusable garden markers. So you just put it in and write with the chalk what the plant is, and then you just erase it off and do it again. The Book of Gnomes. She Shed Sign, because everybody needs that. And I thought this was such a beautiful book, The Northwest Garden Manifesto. Great, create, restore, and maintain a sustainable yard. I even love the picture, look at that, on the boot with the shovel. But they really do a nice job of talking about sustaining your yard and taking care of it and making it a garden. I mean, I would feel pretty excited if I had a garden that was so perfect that I had to make a manifesto about it. Plant Lady, this ruler and dibber has been really good. So you have the ruler, then you can just put your little holes. It tells you how deep each plant needs to be. So if you know somebody who likes to garden, this is a cute little gift for them. So then you can actually put the little holes and drop your seeds and you're good to go. These have been really good. They're, they're different herb markers. So you've got parsley and mint 
And let's see, we also have oregano and sage. Let's see, love you from my head to my toes. And of course, plant lady, that's the theme of this table. Let's see what else. This cute little towel, we've actually got two little towels here. This guy, which has been so popular, we only have one left. Look at him and those mushrooms. These, those are my favorites. which ones, these yes. guys? Yeah, okay, I'll get to those, thank you. And then look at these cuties. Hi, Stan. Hi, Sharon. Look how cute they are. And then we've got the little ladybug trinket tray. Look how tiny it is, because you can see it in my hand. Okay, Marin wants to make sure I show you. These are pot perchers. So they actually sit on a pot. They have a little slot on their behind, and you just drop it on the side of your pot. Aren't those cute? Uh, I have a couple p other ones too. Oh, and then these are really pretty to put in any plant, especially if you have a tall plant and it looks kind of bare down around the dirt, or if you put some moss around it, this would be real fun to put a couple of these because there's a couple different fl flowers in their different colors. And then these are also little picks to put in a plant. Look how cute that is. It's a little glass bee or a little glass ladybug. Aren't those cute? So again, you can decorate your plants, whether they're inside or out on your deck. We've got a lot of cute little, this is a sign for life is better in a garden. And then stuff every gardener should know. This is a great book. Everybody loves this one because it's a great gift if you know someone who's a gardener. You can challenge them. If they tell you they're a really great gardener, you can say, do you know? Because I'm going to give you this and now you'll know everything. Okay, cute cute little napkins. These are garden picks. So you can either put it in a plant. This one says, water me, please. Hi, Tre Tresha. Did I say that right? Hi, thanks for joining us. You grow, girl. So you can put that in a plant. And I love seeing that in a plant. It looks really cute. And then we have these cans that you can plant different items. So it's called can plant reusable ceramic can. So we've got basil, we've got a sunflower, we've got wild strawberries and mint that you can plant. It's already in there and then you can reuse that to plant to other things. Hi, Christina. Hi, Elsa. And then this one is called an eggling and it's, it's for, it's lavender. Can you help me open this site, please? Maybe it doesn't want to come open. Maybe it's sealed shut. There we go. So it's a little eggling and you actually water it and lavender grows out of it. Well, you, you break the Yeah, egg. break the top and then, isn't that fun? Yeah, and then we'll show them the picture. So that's what it looks like. Isn't that cute? So you could put that in a pot and it grows out. Um, let's see, the, let's see if there's anything else we wanna show. Oh, we've got some more garden gnome picks. And lastly, I think that we'll talk about these signs. So we've got, hi Marjorie, we've got caution, naughty children will be used as weed pickers. Uh, no soliciting unless you are dropping off coffee, wine, or packaging. Packages, Traspa trespassers will be composted. Whatever you do, do not piss off the gnomes. Weeds for sale, but not that kind of weed. And lastly, no, trans no trespass pooping. So everybody needs one of these for their garden or their yard. I think the trespassers will be composted is my favorite. Okay, so that's it for Plant Lady. Let's show you what the treasure gift box. So if you don't live around our store, you live out there um, and you're watching from afar, you could go online and see the same items that we just showed for the treasure gift box Plant Lady. So it's got the shears, the cute garden here, don't care, the Northwest, manifesto, the divers, the, the gardener, uh, every, everything a gardener should know, and the cute little napkin. So again, you can take that home or send it to someone. And lastly, I forgot to show you this. This little watering can says, I wet my plants. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Marjorie. All right, so that's it for Plant Lady. Now we're gonna go, hi, Robin. Robin's gonna, we're gonna talk about Father's Day now. So Robin's gonna show some of our Andrea Lytle. She's our local artist who does these beautiful, unique cards and each one's gonna be different. So you can, they're blank inside 
and you can you can see we have tons of them they're selling like crazy yep they are selling really well and so andrea i don't know if she andrea are you on sometimes she's on but give her some hearts and thumbs up because she really does a great job and we really appreciate her work and what our customers definitely love these thank you for that all right so we're going to go over to the father's day table right how am i doing okay Marin's my taskmaster today she doesn't want me to wander off and just start okay so Ilsa says, love that you called out my name, love your store, and love eating there. Yes, thank you. And we love having you on today. Thanks for joining us. Okay, Father's Day. So this area is all full of just all kinds of gift-giving ideas for anybody, but especially if you're looking for something for the male in your life or as someone who's an outdoor person, anybody who wants to go out and enjoy the outdoors, but especially for Father's Day, we've got some cute golf balls let's party world's okayest golfer and talk birdie to me those are really good last year we have a 50 recipe cards for grilling perfection this is the barbecue companion and then this golf mug you can put chip and sip so see that little slot right there so you got a little golf club and then you can chip your little golf ball in there see they actually said put your Put your way to a birdie. Chip a hole in one in your coffee break. <laughs> Just make sure there's no coffee in it when you do that. But that's a really fun mug. And then just so you can see how we took those items and turned it into one of our treasure boxes, treasure gift boxes. We have that mug, we have those golf balls, we have this really fun, it's hard to see, but it is a, a golf wine cup in like a golf ball um, check texture and then the sock says i'm a golf golf guy big golf guy so that's kind of fun thank you and then we have different books my dad in his own words you and me dad i love you dad and here's why and what's cool about this that's an interactive book and so is this so actually your dad can fill out information about his life and then it can become a treasure for your family and then this one you actually fill it out like this one dad i wrote a book about you if there's a song that brings back a good memory it's blank and if there's a place in the world that will always be yours it's so again that's you talking to your dad it's really kind of fun i did this for my dad for father's day several years ago and it made me write things that i didn't normally say to him and he cried and I cried and now it's something that I keep after he has passed away it's a treasure that I love um, this one flipping and sipping now this thing is like a transformer hi Laura it actually opens up to well you can see all the gadgets let's see does it have a list of them and it has a uh, spatula a fork a uh, uh, baster of course you have to have a wine opener so this one has been this one i can't seem to keep on the shelf it's not going to last much longer and look how cute this is big man little man little secret uh, we are new grandparents first time and we have a little guy named owen and he i sent that to our son and i can't wait to tell owen's big enough to hold his big man little man mug okay behind every Good kid is a great dad. That's a great frame. Because of you, dad, this is by Kobe Yamada, and this is signed by him. And it asks you to write a little note. Thank you for being my dad. Dad, more than you know why you're amazing, dad. So this is kind of similar to this one, but it just has different illustrations and different questions, but it's really fun. Dad, you're cooler than mom, way cooler than mom. Hi, Hi Laura. I love that you're my dad. And this guy kind of got buried. This is, this guy is one awesome dad. I should probably take that out of the box. You can't really see it. I'm gonna take it out of the box. And then, because dads like to cook too, if you've got a musical dad in your life, that is a guitar, several different guitars and instruments as measuring spoons. And then greatest of all time. So if your, your dad is a goat, you got it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going around. I think I'm gonna talk about this first, right? Sure. So we have all kinds of apparel for really anybody, hats, t-shirts, hoodies. 
Some say Port Gamble, some talk about the Northwest, but it's really an homage to, to all of what we do up here in the Northwest. Some really fun puzzles. And of course, Sasquatch, because I love him and I believe in him and I know he's here somewhere. He just hasn't shown himself to me yet. Let's just go over some of the fun things here. Um, here's a book that talks about I've been meaning to tell you. This one is Camping, Climbing, Fishing, Sailing, Scout Knots. I think we talked about this before, but it comes with rope and actually teaches you how to tie knots. So if you've got a dad that's thinking, that loves to, to do either a Mr. Fix-It or he just likes to sail or he wants to learn to do knots. And we have a treasure box. And we have a treasure box. So we made one that's called Mr. Fix-It. So we have the knots. We have a dad joke sock, which we'll talk about in a minute. That little seven-in-one gadget pen that I'll show you in a second. We've got an emergency kit and a hammer tool that does pretty much everything. So that's your Mr. Fix-It for Father's Day. Um, so, you know, we have things like bacon bandages and let's talk about these. This is our high class part of the store. So just, you know, in case you guys thought we were, you know, just doing outdoor stuff. Hi, Janet. Okay. This says power stool. Don't be a tool, cover your stool. And so it's heavy duty, D-O-O-D-Y. You have to say what it is. Oh, it's, it's poopery. It's poopery. So, if you don't know what poopery is, it's air freshener, but you don't freshen the air, you actually spray it on the water before you do what you need to do. And so it's poopery. And people swear by it because it's, well, they do a lot of funny commercials about it. And I'll leave that to your imagination, but it does work. We got Backwoods, we got Heavy Duty. This is Master Crapsman. Throw a monkey wrench into bathroom stench. So there you go. And that has, includes trap a crap and <laughs> and royal flush <laughs> then we have plutonium and that one what's great about that it goes in the glows in the dark so if you have you know somebody in your life that that needs this in the middle of the night they can find it because it glows in the dark <laughs> i got a thumbs up on that it's one every dad needs. <laughs> yeah well well this is one of our most popular selling items for father's day um bremerton community farmers market hi there and then here's poopery dapper crapper. So spritz before you unload for a classy commode. Janet gave us a 100% thumbs up, I love it. So anyway, like I said, and lots of little kits for a beard kit, tech kit, eyeglass repair kit, great gifts anytime year round. And then here's the, because you know we're very high class here, we did a treasure box called the Master Crapsman, and you saw that. And then we have president of the local gas company as, a, as to go with that. And that gets packed up and sent off to any dad you need that you think needs this. Hi, Karen. All right, so um, I think I showed you Otto before, but he's the cutest little tape dispenser. We've got bacon candy. We've got a lots of, these are fun because you, these are waterproof phone sleeves. A lot of people love these during boating and kayaking season. Uh, we sell tons of those. Let's see if there's anything else. Lots of books. Uh, let's go over to the socks. Well, I was going to do the socks next and then come back and go around. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so let's do show you the top socks for Father's Day. We've got Cool Ass Grandpa. Here comes Cool Dad. That's a good one. Love Me a Good Poop. And we carry that in ladies and men, so we don't, you know, large and small, so we don't want anybody to feel left out. Grumpy Old Man. Ain't no bad joke like a dad joke. That's one of the most popular ones. There's the president of the gas company. We've got whiskey socks, lots of fun ones. This one's good for any gift, worst gift ever. Gotta run, see you at the store. Okay, Ilsa, but you can also watch this later. You can watch the recording back. Hi, Greg. Greg says, hi, Jenny. Everybody say hi to Greg. He helps us, he, he lives here in Port Gamble and he helps us in the store. Most of you, if you've been in here, have met him. Hi, Dwayne. So give Greg some hearts and thumbs up. Certified pain in the ass. Oh, I was just talking about Greg and look what I ran into. Certified pain in the ass. That has nothing to do with anything, does it? <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Hi, Joanne. And there's the golf guy. Robin told me to say that, by the way, Greg. So, oh. Always blame Robin. Yeah, always blame Robin. Okay, so here's one of our gift boxes. So this is called Mr. Good Looking is Cooking. So that's a towel. What is that noise? 
that's a <laughs> Marin's alarms going off upstairs just ignore it um, grill master we've got man with a plan and we have here comes cool dad so that's the mr. good looking is cooking treasure gift box for the dad or loved one that loves to cook all right we're gonna keep going Marion had to go turn her alarm off. She'll be back to help me out here in a second. Okay, there's a Bacon 24-7 book, which is pretty good. It's really fun to look at all the recipes. Let's see what else. Campfire stories, Marin's back. Did you take care of your problem? Yes. Okay. Um, we have the seven in one gadget pen. I showed you that on the gift box. This is one of our best Father's Day items. And we also have a survival fire starter. Any gadget that's ever been made or little boxes of kits, they're all here. So we have uh, the mini hammer, the larger hammer. This is a key ring. Um, we've got a 10 in one survival kit. We've got a lifesaver kit that has all the little tricks in it. This has been a really good book. People love that. And so, did I show this yet? No. Okay, and so here's the bacon lover Father's Day treasure gift box, or it could be a birthday. So there's that bacon 24 seven book, the bacon candy, the bacon bandages, and the bacon air freshener. Cause who doesn't want, in between your poopery usage, you could have your bathroom or your bedroom smell like bacon or your car, that would be lovely. Um, okay, so I think that's, did I get everything for Father's Day? We're going over to see Robin. All right, so apparel, you know, it's What's New Wednesday. We got a lot of new stuff in, so, I just wanted you to take a look at um, Origami, which is one of our top selling uh, vendors. We just got a ton of stuff. Robin's modeling one of the dusters. Look how cute that is. And so I'm going to just show the sleeve. So this is called sublimation printing. So they actually lay the garment on the, after it's made, and then they print it. So all of them have that striation of print in them which is really fun. So you can see that on the sleeve. And if you could feel this, this is the softest top. This is one of our favorites and it has a little V bottom. So I'm going to turn it over to Robin. What else do you want to show? Well, and, oh, and, that you can see that and, better. And we have, we have two different styles in this mm -hmm. one that has a pretty lace sleeve. Mm -hmm, pretty. And then one that's just, you know, the cotton. All it's the a great down. sleeve length year round because Three if you don't want to be bare, and you want to, you know, but you want to be, if you're, if it gets cool in the evening, you have that. And also with the lace is really gorgeous. And this denim print, look how fun that is. That's a print. And then that you can see how, here's a good way to see it. You can see where they laid it on and then see how the, that's where the print happened. Very nice. Okay. What else do you have in here that you like? Oh, I should show my outfit. Okay. So can you see my pants? I have little daisies on my pants. We carry those and my little pink shirt. And then this is the origami lace uh, crochet cardigan. And Robin had hers on earlier too, but we like this outfit that she has. What else you want to show? Well, we, we restocked, uh, we the, dusters. restocked the denim. Okay, this Finally is a big this. seller. We can hardly keep this one. I'm going to come around this way because you're getting it's silhouetted in the sun there. That's better. So we, we have these bags. Yeah. Um, and we've got several patterns. Yes. So here's a new one, which I'm in love with. That's so really pretty. Look right there. Yeah. But I'm in love with the one you have on because it's kind of a flag. But turn around and you can see the roses on that. Isn't that pretty? That's so gorgeous. And that one's really pretty too with the big rose on it. And I think we should show these cute. Ginny and I both think that. We, we would wear this as a duster, you know, yeah. un, unbutton it and leave it open. Right. You could wear it with leggings. Yeah, it's very um, cute. But it is sheer in the middle. I mean, there's lace. Yeah, so, but that would be cute with a legging. Or with some cute shorts. And this is one of my favorites, sure from that one. This has like a denim shirt. It's a roll tab top and then that cute lace bottom. So you could wear that over leggings or jeans or black denim. That's really cute. Yeah. Another fun thing we have. Can we show them the ladybug dress? Yeah, the ladybug dress. Oh, it's over here. <clears throat> so the vendor that I work with, um, I was buying from her and, you know, I really do trust vendors when they tell me this. And she said, you have to 
have the ladybug dress and I said what do you mean and she goes it's one of our best sellers and look how gorgeous that is so it's, it's got let's pockets. see it's got pockets it's got lace so there's the pockets lace appliques. and it's cute as a duster but you could wear it as a dress well we just we yeah. sold it to a customer for a wedding for yeah a dress, but yeah it's, it's beautiful it's thick enough that it's not sheer yeah you know yeah very pretty and here's another one of the sublimation with the lace sleeve I love any I never met a camo I don't like so oh, I'm showing the back of it that's nice there we go and camo and lace I mean yeah it's very fun and there's the crochet that I have on in a beautiful lavender. Isn't that pretty? Nice job with the scarf there, Robin. That looks pretty. All right. All by the best. Yes. All right. All right. So I think that's it for Robin. Uh, so are we done? What did I forget? Um, you want to talk about Memorial Day? Oh, yes. So just a reminder that Memorial Day is coming up, as you know. You guys, if you have it off or you don't. Oh, there's my husband up there. Hey, John, wave. He can't hear me. See, he's. He's supposed to be watching. Oh, there he is. Okay. Hello. Janet's coming in on Saturday. She loves all the new offerings. Now I can't. Oh, there we go. All right. So I'm going to put this hat on just to make it to finish off the evening. So Memorial Day this weekend, we're open all day. Monday, we're extended hours, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The deck starts to be open for the weekend and through Monday. So you can come and have a sandwich and enjoy the weather. And it's such a beautiful place right by the water to enjoy a family Sidewalk. outing. Sidewalk sale, yes. Okay, there we go. Plant lady. How's my plant lady hat look with my cake, cake earrings? Okay, all right, you guys. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate you. And we will see you next time. Come see us this weekend. Bye.